Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another transfer daily. As you all know, currently in Turkey on holiday, uh, last day here, and obviously the day before the transfer deadline day, which is 5pm tomorrow, a lot of speculation and I mean so much. A lot of disappointment as well for Albion fans, um, as you all know, Dwight Gale, there was a bit of fresh hope with a lot of journalists reporting that there was still interest which I do believe there was, but Newcastle have told West Brom that the only way Dwight Gale will be leaving is on a permanent transfer and Steve Bruce doesn't really want him to leave, which was really disappointing if I'm honest, but to be honest guys, we did know at the start of the window that it wasn't going to be possible. Uh, Luke Dowling did say that he wasn't going to be paying Premier League wages in the Championship. And, you know, with these fresh links, a lot of Albion fans did um, get overexcited, including myself. Um, I think it would have been amazing to have Dwight Gale back. But that being said, we have been linked with uh, Naki Wells. A lot of people saying that he is Burnley are willing to let him uh, go out on loan. And West Brom are one of the clubs who are interested in taking him. Now, I'm a bit mixed on this one, guys. I'm not too sure. I don't think he really is a clinical striker. You know, we've, we've gone from uh, getting linked with Dwight Gale... Albiana Jetty, Musa Canote, and now we've been linked with Naki Wells. It's a bit of a disappointment, if I'm honest. Um, you know, he has. He, I believe he was on loan at QPR last season, where he scored seven goals in 40 appearances in the Championship. So he didn't exactly set the world alight. Um, I do feel like we need someone a lot more clinical than this, guys. Obviously, we've got 50 goals to compensate for. And I don't think that Zahor and, and Naki Wells would compensate for those 50 goals being lost. Um, but we'll see what happens with that one, guys. Um, I'm just hoping we can get someone more clinical. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that one. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will be a bit disappointed, as I am. You know, the players we got linked with to, uh, to the player who we are potentially signing. But we'll see what happens. The next bit of news is um, West Ham winger Grady Diangana is very close to signing for West Brom. Now, I've spoke to a lot of West Ham fans about him and they absolutely love the guy. Made 21 appearances last season for West Ham, scored two goals. Um, England, um, he's in the England youth team, I believe, as well. And a lot of people are saying he's really fast and he's just a complete winger. Um, I haven't really watched him play, to be honest, but... Um, from what, what I'm hearing, he's a really promising player. Um, there was interest from teams like Derby, and it is said that West Brom have hijacked the deal from Derby, um, and he is on the way to the Hawthorns to complete a medical, and he should be signed before tomorrow's deadline. Uh, but guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of that one. Um, are you disappointed with Naki Wells? Are you happy with Brady Dion Garner? Um, but we'll see what happens. There's still plenty of time, plenty of things what can happen in the window. You've saw over plenty of you know transfer deadline days that they can be a bit crazy, so we'll see what happens. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.